Hey guys, this is Tape the Grape, and I figured in this video, since I haven't done it in a long time, I haven't done a story video, this one's going to be a pretty interesting one. Well, anyway, um, this is going to be me talking about two times I've met famous people. Now, the first person, I didn't technically meet meet, and they were more famous than the second person I'm about to talk about. But and then the second person, I actually full on met. In fact, they sat in this exact, not this chair, but in this spot. Because my dad used to work with him. And he's not as famous, but he's still pretty famous. Now, I'll tell you the first time. Now, if you go on some of my early videos on YouTube, you can see me at a concert. Def Leppard, REO Speedwagon, and Tesla. Now, I believe it was one of the Def Leppard members. I don't honestly know. Um... But anyway, they were, we were, the show was over, we were walking out, we didn't know where the car was, so we walked around the venue, it was in like, I think Madison, Wisconsin, I think, I don't remember, somewhere in Wisconsin, but anyway, we walked around there, out back, you know, where the band members were walking to the buses or whatever, um, now again, I don't know exactly who it was, but we were walking there, and obviously the, the security was, presence was high, it's not like we, I just walked up to him, hey, what's up, you know, no. Obviously, a bunch of like security guards or their managers. I don't, I don't know who they were. Some people, they were like, hey, what are you doing? You can't be right here. You got to go elsewhere. They were like, you know, concerned for the band. Well, anyway, that one was I one was walking past and then I waved and they waved back. It was, I'm assuming it was one of the band members. Don't know exactly which one. Like I said, don't know which band and don't know which member of the band. But I, I, that, in that way, I met them. Um, now, the second person, I actually, like I said, full-on met them. His name is Barstool Bob. Well, that's his stage name. His real name is Bob Levis. I'll give you some information on him. Give me one second. Now, I forgot to mention he somewhat recently passed away. Um, I don't remember the exact year. It's been a couple years, but or whatever. I don't remember. But anyway, um, now, if you look at this, I couldn't find a Wikipedia page, which I thought he the, he had, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So if you want to pause and read this, go ahead. But here at the bottom, somewhat at the bottom, he used to play with Otis Rush and Lonnie Brooks. Now, I don't really know Otis Rush, or, um, Otis Rush, but Lonnie Brooks, I know of him. He was a famous blues um, musician. And, uh, yeah, and let me go to his Facebook profile and show you real quick, just so you don't think I'm pulling your leg or whatever. Give me one second. Now, here's his Facebook profile. Um, now, um, here's a bunch of photos. Here, I'll show you. Of him and his, uh, his, I don't know if it's his band or the band he was just playing in. Again, I don't know, if, like I said, I don't know if it was his band or it was just a band he was in. I, I don't know why I said it twice, but anyway. There he is right there in the center. So I thought that was pretty darn neat. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's Lonnie Brooks right there next to him. Now, I actually used to have a uh, white Les Paul guitar that was my first guitar. I no longer have it, unfortunately. I should have got it signed by him, but whatever. He actually, like I said, sat in my seat that I'm in now. Well, not this seat, not this chair. But, yeah, he, uh, he played my guitar and... Not that it would have got me any money or anything like that, but I just that'd been neat to get him get it signed for him. But anyway, so of course anyone can argue and say, "Hey, you're lying. You're not telling the truth." But in reality, that doesn't matter as long as I know in here and in here. That's all that matters. I'm not getting anything out of it. Um, and there's one more thing that I want to tell you. I don't ever tell anyone. For good reason. Nobody believes me. Which, I mean, honestly, be real. I know for a fact that nobody's going to believe me because it does, doesn't sound real. I'm actually related to Elvis Presley by blood. Now, it's a long, like generations and generations ago. Like, I'm not his first cousin. He, he'd be like my fifth or sixth or whatever you want to call it, what have you. I'm not getting anything out of line saying I'm related to him. Again, I have no proof, so if you don't want to believe me, that's fine. Um, but I know I am because there was one time my grandma had a, uh, what was it, a family tree that had his mom on it. Um, but yeah, um, anyway, this was Taped to Grape, and that was my story. Let me know what you think. If, have you ever met anyone famous? Or have you ever been in a scenario where 
you done something or met someone that you have no proof of and nobody wanted to believe you, which, you know, again, I don't care that no one believes me. But anyway, <laughs> that that's totally what someone that is lying would say. But no, honestly. But anyway, this is Taped Grape, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.